Hello, and welcome back to Aliens at Dark Descent. Uh, we left off getting off of the uh, Pioneer Station and uh, onto the uh, Colonial Marines shuttle, the Otega, and we crash landed. So, this will be fun. All right, let's get at it. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price you needs to- You heard Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the med bay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. This one's a priority. Understood. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me, either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons, hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. This is Sheriff Newsom. They held some they, They're killing everyone. I need help. The bells fire too poppy. Oh, no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. 
Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lay the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta mess around with the options a bit here. Apparently... The encoding is getting overwhelmed for some reason. Maybe if I bump that down to 60... Alright, this is what it recommends. Let's uh, see how this goes. Operations ready in the following areas. Understood. Uploading mission data. Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. Tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. 
Administrator Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. I don't let Corrigan hear you say that. Okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open, and let's see what's going down in this burn. On it. Uh, apparently the number one problem was the frame rate needed to be restricted to 60 because it went right back to uh, even I went to the epic uh, graphics settings and now I'm not really dropping any frames for encoding. All right, let's go. Roger. All right, let's see what's in there. Move on! Get too comfy, okay? Move on! Double time! Locked. Run a bypass. Let's get in there. Copy. Roger. Access granted. Move on! Hey, Harper. No sign of movement from up here. Do you see anything? Not a soul. Place is a real ghost town. Don't you worry, Nun Sarge. You've got a squad of big, strong Marines to keep you safe. Let's see what's inside.
Stay frosty, Marines. Move on! Roger. Let's see what's inside. Slugs. What have we got? Satellite communications access looks intact. Which is more than can be said for the operator. No answers here. Looks like he killed himself. Guy must have hated his job. Don't we all? If you're done, how about getting me plugged in? Hold on, Marines! Come on, team! On it. All right, let's see what's in there. Establishing satellite uplink. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Link established. Hmm. Looks like someone put the colony on lockdown. You know how long it'll take to burn through every door in the complex? If you get to the township HQ, you should be able to shut off emergency status. That'll open up the doors. I can also scan for the settlers' personal data transmitters from there. Okay, squad. You heard the lady. Get this door unwelded and continue our path towards the colony headquarters. Cut that door open. Door open. Team. <sighs> Safe position taken. Safe position taken. We're not getting through here. Looks like someone wasn't taking any chances. Squad lead, use C4 to clear the wreckage. Copy. Planting C4. Get down! It's gonna blow! Come on, team! Safe position taken! Well, I don't know we're here now. Team.
Safe position taken. Double time! Safe position taken. Come on, team! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of skin. Did they not teach you about biohazards in the USCM? Don't touch it! You done? Good. Marines, there's something in here with us. It doesn't take a genius to guess at what. Stay sharp. Move, move! On it. Planning C4. Get down! It's gonna blow! Move on! It's quiet. Too quiet. Move, move! Come on, team! feeling about that come on you've watched too many movies it was built by the way you it'll hold get us upstairs on my way get out of here now This fragged. Nearly took us with it. We'll need another way out. Told you! Freaking told you! Move on! Weld that door. Hurry up, you slug! Door welded. Cut that door open. Door open. You're at the HQ. You should be able to deactivate lockdown. Roger. On it. Let's see what's inside. Weld that door. Welding access. 
Door welded. Deactivating now. Let's hope this works. Okay, now let's check out the colonist's personal data transmitters. For that, I'll need the sector map. Go ahead and find it. Move on! Move, move! Right now! It's quiet. Too quiet. On my way. Come on, team! All right, let's see what's in there. signals with vitals. Wait, one's right inside the room. Hey, you! In the locker! My trigger finger's itching. So come out. But come out friendly-like, yeah? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I... I just don't feel so good. Calm down. We're not gonna hurt you. What happened here? It got me. It got me like the others. It got him? What does he mean? All right, settle him down. Something... I had something on my face, and then... What the hell? Cease fire! Cease fire! Screw that! I'm out! He said something latched onto his face. I've seen that. It's what happened to McDonald and the others on Pioneer. I think these creatures use us as incubators. What the hell are you talking about? The creatures on Pioneer. The thing we just saw, they're the same. One gross than the other. They're... That's probably why we found that skin down there. So we could be seeing a lot more of them here? How many? What's the population of Dead Hills? I'd start there and hope for better. Shit, man. I don't like that. Great. That's just great. Securing from emergency lockdown. In five, four, three. Two, one. South door is open. Stay alert, Marines. These things can attack us from every direction now. Come on, team! Double time! It's quiet. Too quiet. Harper, what am I looking at? An ingress point, maybe? You think this is how those things got in? Squad lead, deploy a field spotter. I want to know if anything comes out of this hole. Deploying motion tracker. Motion tracker activated. Nice work, team. If something comes out of there, we'll get a reading. Now let's get back to those survivors. Come on, team! Squad.
Stay frosty, Marines. Harper, are you reading this? Yeah, looks like the field spotters picked something up. Squad lead, check it out. Sweep and secure. Move on! Roger. Let's see what's inside. On it. Let's see what's inside. Got something on a tracker. Come on, team! They're headed our way. More signatures spotted. Weld that door. Welding access. Door secured. Come on, team! Don't get too comfy, okay? Roger. Let's see what's inside. Move on! Don't get too comfy, okay? There's something around. Move on! On my way. Let's see what's inside. It's quiet. Too quiet. Come on, 
team. On my way. They're headed our way. Weld that door. You shall not pass, fuckers. Door welded. Come on, team! It's quiet. Too quiet. Come on, team! Right now! There's something around. Welded shut. Someone made the right call. Reading a personal transmitter on the other side. Could be a live one. All right, Marines. Get him out. Double time! Move on! Cut that door open. Looks like they found us. Bring them down! Go like that! Good job, guys. On it. Breaking the well. Who's there? Who are you? Are you with the company? Take it easy, man. We're the USCM Corps. I'm under the orders of Sergeant Harper and in contact with Administrator Hayes from Pioneer Station. It's Joe McAllen, technician second grade. Please, don't leave me here, please. Technician? Chief Corrigan could probably use another pair of hands. No way he's getting in my dropship. How do you know he's not infected? Infested, pamphlet. These things are parasites, not a disease. Marines, you reckon we can trust him? I mean, he welded that door pretty tight to keep these guys at bay. Just keep an eye on him, will you? Squad lead, bring him back to the ARC. But stay alert. I don't want any surprises. All right. Stay calm, Joe. We're getting you out of here. Stay with us. We'll get you back to our transport. On it. Let's see what's inside. Weld that door. Welding access. Door welded. Come on, team! Roger. Cut that door open.
Door open. Move on! Got something on a tracker. Hurry up, squad! We're spotted! More signals incoming. Incoming! Weld that door. That's right! Still, gonna patch you up. There. Like it didn't happen. Let's see what's inside. Take a breather. Watch that stress, squad. Weld that door. Affirmative. Welding access. They got our scent. Look alive. They really want this open. Yeah, we knocked hard. <laughs> Looks like they found us. That's wrong. assistant. On my way! Come on, team! Hurry up, you slugs! Cut that door open. Door open. Hold on, Marines! Move on! It's quiet. Too quiet. Right now! Let's see what's inside. Come 
on, team. It's quiet. Too quiet. Affirmative. Let's see what's inside. Team. Hold on, Marines. If you need a ride or more firepower squad, don't forget I can provide both with the ARC. Just find me a tactical position and I'll join you. Last support required. Hang on. Our ride is coming. Quiet. It didn't see us. Hurry up, you slums. Something on a track. Come on, team. Hey, you passing the bar? Bring me back some of the good stuff. Thank you. I never thought I'd get out of there alive. Looks like Corgan's gonna get that extra pair of hands. Roger. Stay frosty, Marines. Shh. Here's one. Kill that bastard! Let's rock! Shit, they know we're here. <laughs> I really love this gun. <laughs> Bring him 
down! Ah! Burns! Burns! On my way! Check your vitals, squad. Shh! Listen. I think we're good. Come on, team! something. Looks like a data pad. They're headed our way. Don't get too comfy, okay? Last support required. Hang on, our ride is coming. Move on! Double time! There's something around. Move on! Quiet. Too quiet. Stay frosty, Marines. Move on! Squad leader here. The signal comes from behind this bulkhead door. Looks like a decontamination chamber. You should be able to cycle it. There should be a terminal next to the entrance. Right now. Accessing terminal. Move, move! Decontamination process commencing. Processing. Processing. Decontamination halted. What the? That's close enough. Who the hell are you? USCM, ma'am. Responding to Sheriff Souza's distress call. <sighs> Good news. <sighs> I could use some of that. Decontamination process restarted. Processing. Processing. Decontamination complete. More signals incoming. Move on. Name's McNeil. I'm a veterinarian around here. Shut myself in here when everything went to hell. Problem is, when you do that, it's kind of hard to get back out again. Guess I wasn't thinking straight. You know the situation? 
Uh, not much. Souza recovered a weird corpse next to the slaughterhouse. I've never seen anything like it myself. But then I'd look after herd animals and stitch up the occasional wound in someone who should know better. I'm not a xenobiologist. Or a fighter. Before she left, Souza insisted I keep this. Said it was automated, but I never managed to set it up. All right, Marines. Grab that sentry gun and get the vet out of here. She ain't a medic, but I'm sure Bookard will appreciate the help. Copy. Let's see what's inside. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. Come on, team! There's something around. Hurry up, squad! More signals incoming. On it. Wait. Hold on, squad. I, I think company's coming. You sure? I see nothing on your trackers. Anyway, I guess you could always put those sentry guns to good use. You're learning fast, Administrator. Place that gun, Marines. Set. They're coming. Give those bugs a warm welcome, Marines. Open that door. Come on, team. On my way. Decontamination process engaged. Processing. Processing. Decontamination complete. Let there be light! Tango! Good hand! Light them up! Tango down! Take a breath. Watch that stretch. I'll dig into the data transmitter's history. 
Maybe there's more survivors out there. Bring them down! We knocked them hard! On it! Stay still, gonna patch you up. There you go. Come on, team! There's something around. Last support required! Hang on. Our ride is coming. Wait. I think we lost him. Move! Move! I have multiple signals. That's stress, squad. Don't move. Gonna fix you up best I can. There's something around. Light him up! Here you go. What is it? Take a breath. Watch that stretch. That was the last one. Right now. Don't move. Gonna fix you up best I can. Come on, team! Something's not right. So, hostile critters, a wiped out colony, 
Hunslet being Hunslet. How'd you find your first day in the Corps? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. If it helps, you're doing okay. Thank you. I'm glad it's over. My nerves are shot. Oh, it ain't never over. But for now, we got some time. Good. Gives me a chance to work on the comms. If only we could hear from Director Price and Pharaoh Spire. We could use her help. Dr. Becker's been trying the whole time we were deployed. It turns out most long-range transmitters are down. If someone's home at Pharos, they probably can't pick up. Do you think those things can be there too? Judging by what happened on Pioneer, it's clear that they're spreading extremely fast. Then you'd better get familiar with the Otago right now. We can't give those creatures the benefit of time. This one's a priority. Understood. Ah, Administrator. I wanted to... Oh. Going that badly, is it? I'll get back to you on that. Can I do something for you? Actually, yes. I was hoping you might persuade Sergeant Harper to retrieve some samples of the creatures. One can never have too much information about one's enemies. I didn't know you worked in corporate espionage, Doctor. <laughs> Very droll. On the other hand, I do find that science and skullduggery have a surprising overlap. Both require focus and a keen eye for detail. One supposes. True enough. And you're right. We need more information on these things. I'll talk to the sergeant. Chief Engineer Corrigan, isn't it? We met before. Oh, it's you. Sorry about that, I... You had your hands full. Things look better now. They are. Came together faster than I thought. Ain't pretty, but we're functional and, I hope, stable. Harper told me we got splashed after some kind of failure in the planetary quarantine protocols. Something called Cerberus? That's what's going around, certainly. More corporate corner cutting. What a fucking mess. Anyway, I should be able to produce equipment for our Marines now. Anything I can do to help? Well, I don't think this ship will ever be spaceworthy again. But that doesn't mean we have to abandon her. It could be shelter, you know? For these people. For us. The only problem is dear Otago took a beating. I got holes to patch. Cables to reconnect. Our cryo chambers, our shield, their history. In short, we're missing materials. Spare parts to turn into upgrades. For both our guys and the ship. Look, no promises. But we could ask the Marines to check for materials in Dead Hill's storehouses during their next visit. It all helps. See? Administrator Hayes, what brings you to my corner of the Otago? Sergeant Harper says I should take a look around. He's probably trying to keep me busy. Yeah, the devil loves idle hands. I can't give you a tour. We're still digging through the wreckage. How does it look? Well, we've more portable weapons than we've got Marines to carry them. So if you find anyone out there with training, you point them in my direction. As for the ordnance, it's pretty much scragged. What about the emergency escape vehicles? <laughs> that satellite relay idea of yours, huh? Yeah, Harper told me. If we can get the fuel linkages repaired, we might salvage one EEV. But I'd be damned before I let you play with the only life pod we have left. And how useful is a single life pod on a crashed ship, exactly? Yeah, you're pretty convincing. I'll give you that. All right, take it. But keep me updated. Did I teach you, Marie? Salute.
This one won't let you down. Back from your tour? How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Dr. Becker requested some samples of the creatures for study, and Chief Corrigan is in need of components to turn this ship into a proper base. I thought you were all about getting your message out. There's nothing to say we can't do the one so long as it doesn't endanger the other, is there? True enough. All right. Let's go back to Dead Hills. I have a feeling we missed something there. The same feeling you have when these creatures come around, Sergeant? This is hardly the moment, Deputy Administrator. Listen, Sergeant Harper. Your abilities, they could be tied to this outbreak. If there are more like you out there, it could help. People should know. They have the right to You know. mind your own business, Hayes, and I'll take care of mine. You have a relay to find and I have men to lead. We both have a part to play. This conversation's over. New objectives are awaiting your review. This one's a priority. Understood. All right, that'll be it for today.